Well, I was brought up in a home where my parents were Christians and my older sister was a Christian. So from very early years I went to Sunday school, went to Bible class and the gospel hall I attended. I don't really know the day that I was saved because I was sort of brought up in that atmosphere and I knew when I was fairly young that I was saved and I was assured of that. For me, believing in the Lord Jesus was not a big issue. The biggest issue for me was making public confession of it in baptism by immersion. And that was something that I put off doing and I was very challenged about it. In my latter teenage years I really went into the world a bit, sought the pleasures of the world. But I got to a stage when I was 21 where I realised that I couldn't live as I was seeking the pleasures of the world and following Christ, the two things were inconsistent. So at the age of 21, I was challenged about baptism. At the end of one meeting, an elder of the church said to me, Richard, I would have great pleasure if we could baptise you. And I've been thinking about it. And I was a bit shy and that was sort of the push I needed. And so I said, well, I've been thinking about it and I would like to be baptised. So at 21, I was baptised. And from that point on, I made some progress with God's help. Uh, I really got into studying the Word of God through the Jehovah's Witness, strangely enough. Uh, the place that I worked at, the factory, I was in engineering, Jehovah's Witness came, and knowing that I went to church, he made a bit of a beeline for me. And I, I couldn't really answer him. So I went to see an older Christian, to get some help. Went on a Friday night and he said to me, we chatted about it, and he said, any time you want to come for a Bible study, just ring me up. So after that, every Friday, I used to go visit him and we'd open the Bible together. So every Friday evening I would visit him and we would open the scriptures together, study them and he helped me. And then I started to progress in the Christian life in understanding the Bible. And I've gone on from that for 30 years now. I've been what we term full time in the work of the Lord. Uh, when I felt, over about two years I felt the Lord was calling me to the work. When I actually decided to step out in faith, looking to the Lord for support, I uh, married and I had one daughter at the time and another one was on the way. And people thought it was very irresponsible with another child coming on and here's the man stepping out and they couldn't understand what it was to live by faith. I said to the Lord, Lord, I don't mind going without food if necessary because of the step I'm taking, but I don't want my family to go without food because of it. And since then, the Lord has totally met our needs. Not only have they not gone without food, but I haven't either. So he's a good Lord. He's been very faithful to me, and I'm really glad to know him and to be saved. And I commend the Saviour to anyone watching this video.